Today's recipe is inspired by the spice hater, nightmare inducing, fan favorite monster of the week, Pudgy Pig from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, a classic episode of Power Rangers that needs no further introduction. Here's what really happened after the battle with Pudgy Pig from the episode Food Fight. All here on Villains Homemade. Flex! Alright, Porker, the big feast is over. Oh, yeah. Starting off with our rack of pork spare ribs, we're dabbing it with paper towels. This helps our dry rub stick way better. Dab the top and the bottom, and don't be afraid to really get in there. Next, we're just going to remove some extra pork, making sure we're only working with a nice, somewhat even cut of ribs. Feel free to season these up on the side and save them for another dinner or have some great leftovers. While I'm doing this, I'm also removing some extra fat that we don't need. Now, we're going to get rid of this part here on the bottom of your rack. You can leave this on if you want, but I find it's usually more tough than anything. And it's actually real easy to take off. Using a paper towel or a rag, grab one of the ends and just pull away. Now I'm just dabbing our ribs with some liquid smoke. Again, top and bottom side. We don't want it to be wet, so just make sure you're changing paper towels if necessary. Once finished, set in the fridge uncovered to dry it out a little while we get our rub and barbecue sauce prepped. Alright, Parker, the big feast is over! Oh yeah! For the dry rub, you'll need two tablespoons of brown sugar, salt, sumac, dry thyme, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, black pepper, and a half tablespoon of cayenne. Mix. We made more than necessary for our recipe, so we adjusted the portion for you guys at home. We also ended up adding some white sugar to even out some of the massive amounts of cayenne we added. <laughs> Don't worry, we adjusted that for your recipe. All right, Parker, the big In a pot, place one cup of mustard. 3 fourths yellow and 1 fourth spicy brown, 1 fourth cup of apple cider vinegar, 1 tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, 1 third cup of ketchup, half cup of honey, 2 teaspoons of liquid smoke, 1 teaspoon of our rib rub, and a fourth cup of brown sugar. Mix. Once incorporated, taste for any adjustments. We noticed that we needed to add another half tablespoon of our rub and 3 teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Whisk it up and then bring to the stovetop. Set on a medium heat until bubbly, mixing occasionally. Once bubbling, set to a low heat for another 5 minutes and it is done. Set aside until the ribs are ready. Super tasty, tangy, rich barbecue sauce. Alright, Parker! Now that we have our rub and sauce, let's season our rack. From top to bottom, generously spread your rub all over the ribs. making sure we have covered every nook and cranny. Once seasoned, place on a tray lined with aluminum foil and throw in the oven at 350 degrees for about an hour and a half. After that, we're gonna take them out and wrap our rack in aluminum foil, making sure there's no way anything can leak out. Here I added some of the juice from the first round in the oven. I know someone may say this part is very extra, but trust me, it's needed to make sure all the ribs are nice and covered. Once you've covered your ribs, place on a tray once more, this time with a rack for proper ventilation, and place back in the oven for another half hour. After that half hour, you're just going to take your ribs out and leave them untouched for another half hour to let them rest. After you've waited so patiently, you can now open up to see these delicious dry rubbed ribs. Top with some barbecue sauce and place in your oven with your broiler setting on high for about a minute or until it starts bubbling. And we made it to the finish line everyone. Please cut up, sauce to your liking, and enjoy Pudgy Pig's Barbecue Spared Ribs. I'm not going to try to play these up but oh my god were they so good. Ready to fall off the bone but not so much that you can't pick one up. The barbecue sauce really makes it all come together with the sweetness and tagginess of it all. As an even bigger fuck you to Pudgy, I dabbed some last dab from Hot Ones to really feel the spice. Oh 
Overall, we're giving this recipe a 4 out of 5 power coins. Again, a super tasty recipe I hope someone tries out. If you do, feel free to post it on social media and tag us at Pronghorn Heroes with the hashtag Villains Homemade. Villains Homemade comes to a close next week with a very sweet recipe. Thank you all for the continued support on this series. Please take care of yourselves, Tokuheads, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.